Hey everyone, this is Rob, Northwest Representative with Defenders of Wildlife here in beautiful Tacoma, Washington. And we have a gorgeous sunny morning in front of us as we get ready to go out and do some work for our Orcas Love Rain Gardens program. This is a new program that Defenders of Wildlife launched two years ago in Tacoma, and it aims to help our southern resident orcas and the salmon that these whales rely on. And this morning we're gonna go uh, meet with some first grade students who have been working with us to install a rain garden at their school. So let's get going. Stormwater runoff is the largest source of pollution impacting Puget Sound and the broader Salish Sea ecosystem. Every time that it rains out here, and it rains a lot in the Pacific Northwest, uh, the rainwater collects all of the gunk that's on the ground, so oil on our streets, chemicals that we put on our lawns and gardens, and it creates this toxic soup that goes directly into the environment. Rain gardens, though, are a great way to capture and filter out this stormwater runoff so that the water is nice and clean and the pollution doesn't get into our wildlife, causing a lot of problems. Uh, later, we'll go to a City of Tacoma property, the largest rain garden in the world, and talk about the program with a reporter. Then we'll meet with some key partners at the Parks Department. Okay, now it's time for City Council meeting. Gotta go home and clean up a little bit. Uh, and then go talk to uh, our local leaders here in Tacoma about why they should support the Orcas Love Rain Gardens program. Let's go! Rain gardens help the Puget Sound stay clean. The plants filter the water. Our rain garden is in the back of our school. We want to keep the sea life like the orcas and the salmon healthy. The orcas in our Puget Sound are in trouble because of polluted and lack of food. It's really important to help our animals in the Puget Sound. As these students said, this is an important resolution because our southern resident orcas are extremely endangered. There are just 75 of them left, and over the last three decades, their population has been declining. May I have permission to approach? Thank you very much. Would you all please hold up your drawings so that everybody can see what, what you were given? They're holding theirs up too. Um, young people, I want to thank you so much for, for coming out and testifying. Um, most of us adults can't get up here and, and talk, and you all did an amazing job. So I want to thank you for being here. I want to thank you for educating us more about the orcas. Um, that's right, Pat, you can pat each other on the back. That was a good move. <laughs> I think the resolution that you're talking about is going to get passed. So just leaving city council, um, and it's raining. <laughs> Uh, the city council voted in favor of the resolution, which uh, gives us a little bit of financial support and also endorses the program citywide. So that's great. 